say this. <laughs> Fuck. Like if you're street artist, you're not supposed to attach that to your, your given name. I'm still not really, I guess, comfortable saying that I'm Robin Hasty and I'm an disaster. I work on the street, doing street art. I also do sculpture, printmaking, wet plate photography, film photography, and I'm getting ready for a show at Casting Ray in Soho. I'm showing a, a group of portraits done in two mediums. Um, one is paper cutting and the other is wet plate clothing photography. Um, the paper cutting, I, I make these large pieces of lace, basically, with a large piece of photographic backdrop paper. I attach it to the wall and cut through three or four layers at the same time. Um, kind of like painting, but with more pressure on the knife. It, it takes me usually between three and six weeks to finish a piece, um, working every day. Um, the pieces range from three feet by 14 feet to the largest one was 12 feet by 25 feet. I'm just cutting through three layers of paper um, at the same time. And there's a sketch that I'm loosely following. I actually just pull off the, um, the layers. And sometimes, you know, they, they come off really easily. This is the top layer that I usually end up throwing away. The paper cuts are really about the beauty of the paper cut, but I also usually do portraits. Um, this is a, a large paper cut out for the show. I guess it's a self-portrait. The other piece that I'm showing is a collection of wet plate collodion photographs. There's no negative in the process. It's kind of like a Polaroid, um, except it's silver on metal. In a world that's pretty much gone completely digital, it's, it's very different aesthetically. There are imperfections in the material that, that show in the photograph that are really beautiful and can't be replicated digitally. I have a series of portraits that I'm showing that I took while driving across the country of people who are um, creating alternatives to, the, to mainstream culture. I work in wet plate because it was the most beautiful kind of film I'd ever seen and I think it has some sort of magic 